what role do angels and demons play in the Enochian communication system? In ancient Enochian literature, there were two classes or ranks of angels. One was the seven archangels who ruled the days of the week and so forth, and the other were the roughly 22 Anunnaki angels, Anunnaki fallen angels who rebelled against God by bearing giant or Nephilim offspring with the daughters of man. These events were outlined briefly in Genesis 6-4, but are given a much more detailed narrative in the books of Enoch. In the Enochian system of magic designed by John Dee and Edward Kelly in the late 1500s, there are at least 91 intelligences one can invoke as sigils on the four watchtowers model, and within that model also an array of various other ranks and files of beings tasked with various chores, each capable of being rendered also as a cacodemon by simply reversing the spelling of their name. Any of these angels or demons may be summoned in Dee's Enochian by reciting its name in its corresponding Call of the Thirty Heirs. The Neo-Enochian works of the Hermetic Order of the Golden Dawn, particularly those developed by S. L. Mathers and described with his Concourse of the Forces ideas in the Golden Dawn Manual by Israel Rigardi, have far more to do with decorating each cell of the four watchtowers with a truncated pyramid, independently of each cell's letter, in English or Enochian, and result in a color-coding method for deriving 12 zodiacal attributes by cross-referencing the four terrestrial elements, earth, air, fire, and water, and the three essential phases of matter, solid, liquid, and gas quite removed from the angelology of Dee's original system. Nevertheless, Mather's Neo-Enochian models managed to complement Dee's system of magic, as well as Dee's models complement the ancient Enochian apocrypha. In my own understanding of the Enochian communication system, it is a global energy field associated with Earth's ionosphere in modern scientific parlance that allows over-the-horizon telepathic communication, that is, instantaneous remote viewing, mind reading, and even think-talking at extreme distances. Past incarnations of it include what I call the animal internet. Present modes include the cybernetic internet, and future iterations will likely involve augmented reality interface systems. The peaks and valleys of activity in the Earth's ionosphere are a product of space weather created locally by the sunspot cycle, which, in turn, is caused by interstellar gravity waves emanating from the Milky Way's core black holes. These peaks and valleys of sunspots and ionospheric activity on Earth correspond to the errors of imperial rises and falls in the history of humanity.